Hello and welcome to another video. As you can tell, I'm walking down a trail uh, to see a ship. And uh, the next ship coming through the canal into Lock 8, head on to Lake Erie, believe it or not, is right here. Literally a stone's throw away in front of me. So if I just walk over here, I'll uh, put into a bit of suspense. Here's a bit of grass. Ta da There you have it. That is the Trillium Class Baycomo CSL uh, ship, uh, built in 2013. Uh, she's uh, just loosening the lines right now. Uh, she had to wait for another ship to come through. Uh, so if you saw the last video, you'll see that was... Um, what's that bloody name? Forgot her name already. I'll put the name in right now. Listen to that guy laughing. Right, he's just going back up the ladder, and they're going to be away, so we'll get ahead of it and we'll watch it enter the lock and uh, get up there for the battery drains. So the vessel's off to Meldrum Bay, which is just off from uh, north of Manitoulin Island. And that's where she's heading to next. So uh, let's get up here, get a nice shot of her getting towards that canal. Especially now the sun's shining on the front of this one.
unfortunately, it was at this point the guy uh, on the bike there decided to put some music on. So, so I don't get a, a strike from YouTube for copyright music, which you'll probably pick up. I'll tell you about the ship. So the CSL Bay Como is a Seaway Max Trillium class self unloader. The Bay Como was constructed at the Shengyi shipyard in China with the yard number CX9304. Uh, the ship was actually laid down in 2012 and was launched, launched later in September of that year. She was completed on the 20th of June in 2013. She left China later on that year and arrived in Montreal, Quebec on the 24th of August of 2013. Bay Como is 225.5 meters in length, which is 739 feet and 10 inches, with a beam of 23 meters and 76 centimeters, which is 77 feet and 11 inches. The vessel has a maximum speed of 13 knots, which is 24 kilometers an hour or 15 miles per hour if you're on the other side of the border. Apparently, this is the last of the Trillium class of uh, ships for CSL. The sister ships are Bay St. Paul, Thunder Bay, and Whitefish Bay. Okay, I've now moved over to the south end of West Street in Port Coburn. Uh, right at the very end of the street there is a nice little piece here, the promenade, where you can uh, just literally watch the ships come and go. And uh, this is where we're going to watch uh, the Como come in. And I think she's mooring up on wharf 18. Or is it 16? I can't remember. 16, 17 or 18. I can't remember which is which. The water actually looks quite inviting, doesn't it? It's currently about 22, 23 degrees Celsius, around about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, the actual lake temperature of the water in the canal. All right, Bay Como is now out of the uh, Welland Canal. She's at Port Coburn. She's going to be tying up very shortly. She's here for a short period of time before she then continues her journey up towards Manitoulin Island. It's just on the other side uh, where she's going to, just slightly north of Manitoulin Island. 
Uh, but in the meantime, she's just going to be boring up here for a brief period of time. Okay, the B-Como has just uh, radioed in uh, to say it's going to be here for about five to six hours to take on supplies and mainly fuel. And they also just thank the, uh, uh, the Federal um, Franklin for being patient because it had to wait a little bit longer while they got it tied up and because they held up from the other vessel before that. Anyway, it's like a trilogy now, isn't it? Three vessels. So anyway, um, that's the end of this video. That's the uh, B-Como I'm done with and we're going to start the next video um, right now.